We've actually been teasing this all show long, all we day long. Been. A lot of the monsters Since are the other excited. day. Yeah. yeah. So we finally, we have him here yeah. for the first time, David Archuleta. Hello! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> David's been, uh, we've been, we've, we've been talking about Pokemon for, for yeah. a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just found out that he's a, a big Pokemon, Pokemon fan. fan. He, yeah. he literally called out that uh, Billy, Billy Crawford, Crawford sang the original, um, Pokemon song? Theme song? One of the one of the Pokemon two thousand, yeah. yeah. You know, I need to know who is your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon? Favorite Pokemon. Oh man. I don't know. I I see the stress in his face, like why? Yeah, On the spot. I don't know. I I mean I've I've always liked Feraligator for some reason. Ooh! Oh, okay. Well, that That's was, a good choice. Yeah, that was from Gold and Silver. Yeah, Gold and Silver, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go down a weird road unless he's talking about Pokemon <laughs> <laughs> We can keep talking about Pokemon forever. But yeah, uh, this is your third time, is it, in the Philippines? Sixth time. Sixth already? Sixth time. Oh my yeah. gosh. In the Philippines. So, so uh, of those six times, like I'm pretty sure you've already developed um, a couple of favorites here. You know, like a favorite place, favorite food. What are the some of the things that you always remember from the Philippines, from all your Trip. trips here? Um, well, the mangoes are always what I... The mangoes! Good yeah. choice. <laughs> yeah, people are like, there are some times before they give me boxes of mangoes, and I, I didn't know what to do with them. There's too many of them. Did you eat them all? Or I tried. I tried <laughs> eating as many as I could. You make them into shakes. Mango shakes are oh, really good, yeah. too. Well, the, see, Silly the mangoes, mangoes taste like a smoothie and a peel. Right. That's what I always say about Have it. Have you it's tried um, dried mangoes? Yes. That's so yeah, good. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. here six times during your downtime, what stuff do you usually do here in Manila? Aside from eating <laughs> we don't really have downtime and watching Pokemon. Here. <laughs> and, but, no, we don't want we don't have downtime. No downtime. downtime. Busy dude. Not really. Like Super we get busy food dude. and then we sleep <laughs> when we have time down. Well, yeah. is there anything that you wanna do for your trip this time around? Um, we're hoping to see some of our friends that we've made from times before. That's what that's what we're hoping for. That's that's what I was going to ask. Like, um, are you able to maintain, you know, like contacts or, or, or friends from from Manila or from the Philippines from all your trips here? Yeah, yeah. I'm. I mean, my road manager, she does a better with keeping in touch with people than I do. But luckily, she's been able to keep in touch with all the our Filipino friends, and we're hoping to see, see them and have like a little reunion with with a bunch of them too. So that's what I'm excited about. That's awesome. So yeah. you did a TV show in the past exclusively like for the Filipino audience. Would yeah. you be willing to do that again? I I wouldn't mind. I mean, that's where like a lot of our friends that we made came from was from filming Nandito Ako, mm -hmm. the miniserie. And it was, it was really great because we got to, like we didn't go like, I mean one time we did try and go to the market one time. Mm -hmm. and I, like without the security, without I was like, you know, if we just walk around, maybe people won't notice, but people start noticing. People notice. And they start following us. <laughs> I, think so like, I think you're hard to miss, dude. I think you're hard to miss. Pretty hard to miss. I feel like I would blend in. I feel like I blend in pretty well, actually, because I have dark hair and I'm like everyone, like they're all, we're all about the same height. All right. The <laughs> the all right. You know what? We should make a game out of this. Like How long will it take for people, people to start noticing you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, it's been a long. I mean, it's been almost six years since I was last here. Oh. So it's. I feel like enough time. They wouldn't really expect it. I mean, sometimes they'll notice, but not. Mm -hmm. We should try this out. We should make this into like. Some we sort should. Of experiment. I would be totally up for that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, make it Love it. Okay, so let's talk about your new music. You're coming out with oh, Postcards yes. in the Sky, and what, in your opinion, makes it different from your past? Um, yeah, it, postcard, it actually comes out while I'm here in the Philippines. Yeah, it's coming yeah. out the day of your show. Yes, the same day <laughs> as the show on Friday. And I, I think more than anything, it's just the, where the songs are coming from before. Like a lot of songs I sing, just most of them were written just by other people or they were written, I don't know, just a purpose of just being written like oh this is catchy enough or people like this but these songs actually was like I wasn't worried about okay are they catchy enough are they gonna be played by all these radio stations it was, yeah. was it was like is this coming from my heart or is it not and so that's that's the real difference from it I felt like 
um, they're a lot more personal and they came from like this fight I've had with myself <laughs> of trying to move forward like a lot of things try to hold you back and this is just kind of like my fight like you know what even if you hear those negative thoughts coming from you this is just my battle to move forward and try to make the most and be dare to be myself and so wow. far the reception has been good you released some of the songs with your earlier EP yeah yeah and people love them so far what is your favorite song off of the upcoming album my favorite one uh I mean I really like this one that's playing right now numb just because that was kind of like what started the whole like okay what what am I gonna do with this album mm -hmm. and numb was kind of my song saying because I almost decided I almost was like you know I'm not gonna do music anymore because I don't understand why I'm doing this in the first place and then when I went to the writing session with the writers for this song numb they're just when I was just saying you know I don't know if I want to do this anymore they said well why don't we write about that why don't we just expose that and make make a song out of it and I was like okay <laughs> but I, I never thought of actually doing that and so that song and writing it and re recording it, it it made me realize I can write about things I'm actually going through and I, I just I didn't think that I, I I didn't know I know how to do that before and uh, this album I experimented with that more. Okay. That's great. So it's great exciting. Um, we get to see like something more personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Out. Really expressing the, your evolution as an artist and as a person. But yeah. I was curious, if you weren't singing, like if you didn't end up as an artist, what do you think you'd be doing instead? You know, I've been really into psychology. Mm -hmm. Ooh. When when I got I, so I, when I took my two year break from doing music to be a missionary and I I came back and I was just so more interested in other people I was just like I want to know other people and I want to know how they feel a lot of I think like mental illness has been a lot more exposed now mm -hmm. people talk more openly about it and my family they're just people who've gone have dealt with a lot with mental illness and I just liked learning about that and psychology and understanding people and I took a psychology class when I got back from my mission and was kind of still deciding, okay, do I want to do music or not? I was taking these college classes and I loved psychology. That's awesome. And so, I mean, if I, you know, I, I love doing music. I feel like you connect with people that way too and are able to understand them. But if it, you know, for some reason I just can't make a living off of it anymore, I, I think it'd be cool to get into psychology somehow. Just to, I, I always want to connect to people. Music is how I chose to do that. But, um, I like doing that in all kinds of ways. Did you ever take your uh, uh, Myers Briggs um, personality yeah. testing? Yeah, I did. Do, do you know do you what? Do you remember what your type is? Remember, can you remember? Like, uh, I'm an ENFP. Okay. I'm an INFJ. Yeah. I, I, me too. Whoa! Oh, INFJ. Yeah. INFJ. Yeah. All right, all right. INFJ. That's awesome. Okay, uh, a couple more questions. A lot of people are actually asking on our Twitter. Uh, if you guys want to ask more questions, if we still have time, it's a hashtag David Archuleta 931. But a lot of them are asking, I don't know if you want to answer this, but um, like from uh, Chica Brown, <laughs> Uh, they're asking, how's your heart? Is there someone in there? That's what I wondered. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's the golden question, question that everybody asks. You're a really busy dude. Do you, have, do you find time? Like, you know, um, uh, being with mean, friends or, or being romantic with anyone at all? You don't have to mention I mean, who it is. I try because, you know, one of my ultimate goals is to have a family. I think okay. there's nothing that brings greater joy in your life than a family. And I, I think that's like a huge thing. I'm a mission, like, and just with my beliefs, like, that's, everything centers around family. And mm -hmm. we're, like, trying, like, as a missionary, we would go visit people, families that were falling apart, and our goal was to keep, to have them find the strength to, to mend whatever was broken. Mm -hmm. And I just love, I and mean, it just made me be like, I want to have kids so bad. I want to have a family because to have, I mean, it's so cool to have a life and experience all these things, but when you have someone you can share it with, mm -hmm. I mean, it makes a difference when my sister and my mom is with me, just to share the moments and the people you're meeting and the places you're going with, or even the hard things. Like when you're feeling broken and when you're feeling like, I don't know what to do next, I'm feeling lost, to have someone there to support you makes a huge difference. And I, so, like, okay, uh, I'm, I, 
I would like to, and I'm making more of an effort to make that a priority in my life. And, it, and it's not easy because I'm always traveling and it's hard to get to know people. And but I, I will say I'm, I'm making a lot more of an effort. Great. Wow. Yeah. So I'm getting tweets right now with people going. David wants a family. I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, volunteer there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you got a show on Friday. It's at Kia Theater. It's at 8:30. Yeah. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
or his latest album. Right? Thank you so much, David, for joining us. It's yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks yeah. for geeking out on Of course, dude. Anytime. Yes. anytime. <laughs> We're here for you. <laughs> there you go, you guys. David Archuleta live on the Monster 522. We're going to play one of his new ones right now. This one's called Up All Night. Cool. Yeah. Only here on the Monster. <laughs> 